Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott and I'm with Garrity RV Centers in Junction City, Oregon. Today I'm going to show you a fantastic trailer from Coachman. This is called the Freedom Express Liberty Edition 322 RLDS. And you might wonder what RLDS stands for. Rear Lounge Double Slide, except for one weird reason, this one has three of them. <laughs> Follow me, I'll show you inside. So with this trailer, this is one of the upper echelon products from Coachman in a travel trailer. It's a very, very beautiful trailer inside and out, and it's remarkably lightweight and easy to tow. Follow me. Now as we look inside this one, we're looking at a very comfortable trailer with a lot of light and a lot of space. What they've done is they put a couch across the back. Now, this is a tri-fold couch that will fold out and make a, a full-size uh, hide-a-bed. Not an uncomfortable one either. You can sleep on it quite well. And then you, over here you have two settees that are recliners with extra storage and cup holders. Even a drawer down here so you can keep all the things you want around while you're watching TV. The TV location is right in front of these two settees. But it will come out and it will swivel around to different areas so you can see it from other parts of the trailer. And also, this has a really nice home theater system. It's got all of the features. You can Bluetooth to it. It's got uh, USB and auxiliary connecting ports. Basically, you can run all your media right into here. And it has an electric fireplace. Now, that seems like a really luxurious feature, but it's got a great necessity type purpose, too. And that is that you can heat with electricity. This isn't just pretty. It makes very good heat. So you can conserve your propane. And of course, this is a lot quieter than the normal fan sound you get from your furnace. So it's a lot of people really like to have that electric fridge. Now, as we turn around, we've got a beautiful dinette booth here. And it has a freestanding table. So I can move this around. If you have somebody that's heavy set that needs to get in around behind, you can move it one way or the other. You can even take it outside and use it out there if you want. Another thing that you see is that this is a nice full-size deep slide and there's a bit of an angle to the top of the slide and that that's there to give you very good water runoff so water runs away from the trailer and you're very unlikely to get any kind of a water leak at this slide out because in part because of that design now this is an opposing slide trailer so you've got slides going this way and you've also got this big slide that goes from here clear down to the end of the tv set that slides out so we get an extra roomy trailer this idea really comes from fifth wheels and, um, it, and it, to have it in a trailer means that I can have a lighter weight rig that's easier to pull without going up to the big cumbersome nature of a fifth wheel. And of course, they're a lot less expensive than a comparable fifth wheel would be as well. This island kitchen here has sinks and it has a lot of storage in it. It's quite attractive. More counter space here. There's a lot of counter space. And there's some big drawers on the cabinet side. There's even a place that's just for your, your sinks and your silverware um, over here. You have a nice, deep, large refrigerator. You've got good pantry space. Of course, everybody's always wondering if they're going to have enough room for all their stuff. This trailer absolutely will. Take a look in here. Right here, we've got a large coat closet, and it even comes with a Dyson electric vacuum cleaner. It's plugged in right there. Now, this also has another feature that's quite unusual, and that is that it has a camera in the back, and it also has a side camera that opens up the area of your campsite. And you can use your telephone to view what those cameras are seeing. So it gives you a sense of security when you're in here and you can look at your, at your phone and see who's outside of your campground. And of course the backup camera can be really handy too when you're going into a campsite. Now, we look at the bathroom. This has a really nice bathroom. It's really spacious, and it's got doors that are private to the bedroom and private to the living area. So if you have guests, you can have your privacy in here. They can come in, and vice versa. You can keep this door closed and come through here. You have that choice. It has a very nice level of equipment in here. We've got a beautiful garden, neo, what they call a neo-angle shower, and a skylight. And a big guy can get in here, no problem at all, with plenty of headroom. And it's got a porcelain toilet. People think porcelain, porcelain toilets are fancy, but they're also a lot easier to keep clean. That's a really nice thing about them. Now, come and look at the bedroom. So 
So this bedroom is very spacious. And I think in an awful lot of trailers, the bedroom feels cramped and tight. But what they've done to make it a little more roomier is this, I mentioned a slide out earlier in the show. This slide out here, the wardrobe goes out and that gives me a lot of living space. Plus, of course, it gives me extra storage. Okay, I'd like to show you some stuff outside. So let's walk around the outside of the trailer now. Now this trailer is absolutely laden with all kinds of good technologies that we should talk about. One thing that's important is this has an Asdell underlayment. Most of these fiberglass sidewalls, they're laminated together and there's a bonding material in between the fiberglass and the rest of the wall, which is typically a layer of wood. You ever see a trailer that looks like it's starting to delaminate? It's because the wood is separating in there and the walls are coming apart a little bit. This really won't do that because the material here is a composite. It's waterproof and it's not biodegradable. So it's very, very strong. Now we look up here, we've got a power awning. We've got outside speakers. We have the nice new uh, uh, frameless windows, which are not only attractive, but they reduce heat transfer and condensation quite a bit. And you can see here, this is an aluminum cage construction. That means that not just the sidewalls are aluminum frame, the roof trusses are aluminum frame true to also. And it also has a fully heated and enclosed underbelly. So should you want to use it in colder weather, this trailer is a very, very good choice. Now look up here. This has power stabilizer jacks. And what's unusual about these ones is they're individual. We have four corners fully adjustable. Most trailers just have one jack for the front and one jack for the rear. Well, this one here will stabilize evenly so you don't have to put blocks underneath to, to stabilize your trailer. That's really nice. Also has just a massive front storage area here. And it, you, they've even put a picnic table in here. You can see it up hanging from the top. I think they've thought of a lot of really nice stuff. This has a very thick compartment door. It's gonna be warm and well insulated, keep the heat on the inside and the cold air on the out and it's really easy to close. Last thing I want to show you right here is this has an, a connector for a portable solar panel. So if I want, I can have a portable solar panel out during the day to reinforce my battery charge so that when I get done at night and I want to turn on all my lights and start using my batteries, I've got a nice charge on my batteries. That's a really awesome feature too because you don't have to build one into your roof, you can have it portable. Then you can use it other ways and it costs a lot less money. Now, a big thing on the front end of this trailer is it has a full fiberglass end cap. This is like putting the hull of a boat on the end of your trailer. It encloses all the corners, edges, and seams, and it makes it very unlikely that it will ever leak. Let's walk around this side. As we go, it's nice to note that we have a power front tongue jack, and we also have the spare tire located up here in the front. Instead of hanging it off the back bumper of the trailer and actually lengthening your trailer, it's up here where it belongs, easy to get to and out of the way. You can see here I mentioned the slide outs, both on this side, then one more on that side. And then here is kind of your working area. This is where your shore cord connects to, your outside shower, your black water flush is right here, and your plumbing for your waste, waste tanks is here. Now I want to point something out here. There's no gate valves here at the end of this pipe. The gate valves actually go up into the enclosure. And what that means and why it's important, these pipes stay empty all the time. So if you were to get into a cold snap and it was freezing weather, what's in here isn't going to be water. It, there's nothing in there to freeze. See, that's a really, really cool feature. It makes the trailer a lot more residential and a lot more versatile. Let's walk around this way. Now one thing you can see here on the back is that we have a nice ladder access to the roof. That's a nice feature to have because it makes it so you can go up there and remove debris from the tops of your slide outs or sweep the top of the roof off. And also you can check and see that your seals are in good condition. Maintaining your roof seals is just about 85% of taking care of your trailer and you should do it. This makes it a lot easier to do. And then the last thing I want to show you is right around here. These guys have really thought about everything. One of the cool things they've done is they put in an outside entertainment center. So now, under my awning, if I'm having a tailgate party or I just would rather be outside instead of cooped up, I still have my television set out here. That's for people who really like to rough it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'd love to show it to you in person, and if you have any questions, just give me a call. My name's Matt Elliott, 
and my number is 541-954-8495. Thanks for watching the video. You have a great day.